Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, and today is Tuesday, so I'm going to be doing a Tag Tuesday video. The tag I'm planning on doing today is the Giving Thanks book tag. So question number one is name a book in which you are thankful that you don't live in their world. So the book I chose for this question is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I picked Ferris, the small novella about Queen Lavanna in particular because she is one of the reasons as to why I would not want to live in this world. There are three, well, there are three main reasons why I wouldn't want to live in this world. One being the completely mad and bloodthirsty Queen Lavanna who will do absolutely anything to just fuck up somebody's day. Reason number two is a rampant disease with no known cure that is just wiping out everybody in its path. And reason number three is cyborgs are treated like shit. And my boyfriend and I joke all the time about how the minute that any sort of cyborg technology actually becomes real, that we would just like happily chop off one of our limbs to have like an arm, a cyborg arm put on, or to be able to have the cyborg eye where I can have the internet access and get my Google Maps in my head without having to use my phone when I'm driving is goals. So I don't want to live in a world where cyborgs are treated like garbage and used for cannon fodder for this disease. All right, question number two is name a book that changed your perspective. So I'm not going to go too far into this because I've talked about this book. I want to say in like three or four of my videos so far, at least some of the ones that are coming out this week and next week. And it is How Not to Die by Michael Greger. This book didn't so much change my perspective as it hardened my resolve on the topic. This just gave me the statistics and access to the studies that have been done to give evidence to what I believe when it comes to diet and nutrition. Basically, this book talks about the health crisis that this country is in and many other countries are in as well, needs to be addressed and doesn't need to be addressed with more pills. So this book talks about a solution to the problem that is chronic disease in this modern world. And the long-term solution is to change how we eat and to change our diet. And I'm truly thankful for this book because it's trying to spread that message in order to spare ourselves, our parents, and our children from suffering from painful chronic diseases. Question number three is what character would you be thankful for if they were your significant other? This was hard because again, I don't typically get emotionally attached to characters in that way, but I did pick a character that I really, really love and that's Isolt from Truth Witch. She just seems like the sweetest, most caring person and the relationship she has with Safi. They constantly have each other's backs. They're there for each other no matter what. And they would choose each other first over anyone else. And I really would appreciate, and I do appreciate because I have a boyfriend who is like that, um, who would pick you over everything else and treat you with the utmost respect. Question number four is what character would you say thanks, but no thanks? This is an unpopular opinion time, but I'd say that to pretty much any character in the City of Bones or the Mortal Instruments series. I had an immense amount of issues with all of the characters in this book, and if I tried to explain why I disliked them so much and why I disliked this series so much, I would be here for a very long time. So maybe that's a topic for another video on another day, but Pretty much all the characters just really, really bothered me in this book. And if you want to know more, ask me in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about why this series in particular just rubbed me the wrong way. Question number five is name a book that made you laugh out loud like your drunk Uncle Earl on Thanksgiving. So for this one, I picked The Martian by Andy Weir. I really wish I had tabbed this book. I typically use my yellow tab marks for when I come across a joke or some kind of scene that made me laugh out loud. Um, so I wish I had tapped this and I didn't, so I can't look any of them up right now. But I really did love the main character, Mark, Mark Watney's humor. To have such dark humor in a book, I, I really like kind of that dark humor in movies like Burn After Reading and other ones. I can't think of them right now. But to be cracking jokes when you're in such a survival and serious situation like the dude's stranded on Mars and the odds of him being saved are you know little to none and he's still able to like crack jokes with himself whether that's because he's you know losing it a little bit or just trying to make it through the day or whatever the reasons are it just it really strikes a chord with me and what I like in 
humor. Question number six is name a book that made you incredibly angry, just like a drunk Uncle Earl on Thanksgiving. So this one's kind of a unique and weird situation. I read this book by accident. It was Girl on a Train by A.J. Wines. Wayne's Wines. So don't get this mixed up with because this is how I read this book by accident. I went on Audible, no not Audible, I went on Overdrive to try and find the girl on the train. The one that's been made into the movie and all that to read for or to listen to a couple months ago. And I picked a book because it looked like the movie cover. It, the, the model on the front cover of this audiobook looked a lot like the actress who played the main character in the movie. So I thought this was like the movie version of the audiobook. So I started listening to it and it is about a girl on a train, but it this book is a girl on a train, not the girl on the train. So it kind of irked me when I finally figured out that I was listening to the wrong book, but I was like, okay, I'll listen to it anyway. Like it's not horrible. Let's keep going. But then the ending happens. So what irked me so much about this book is that the author at the end again, I don't even care if you consider this spoiler, you shouldn't read this book, was the author tried to paint a rapist as the hero. I'll let that settle in. And to make this even worse, the main character, who is his victim, at the end feels bad about the fact that he's probably going to prison and has the main character question whether or not what he did was wrong. So yeah, it pissed me the fuck off. And I don't recommend, again, don't confuse this with The Girl on the Train. It's not the, that book. It's this weird other book that should never have been published called A Girl on the Train. Don't read it. Don't get duped like I did. And you know, don't mix up your V's and A's. <laughs> Question number seven is name one thing about the book community that you really enjoy or that you were really thankful for. And something that I'm really thankful for in this community is everyone is so nice. And even when someone gets out of hand in a comment section, I haven't had this personally happen to me, but I've seen it in other people's videos where someone will, you know, there's a bad egg in every group. So some nasty troll person will write something mean in the comments and people don't jump on them and give back exactly what this person was giving. Instead, they just like politely say like, come on, man, that's not cool. This place is supposed to be a place for book discussion. Like there's no reason to get hostile or whatever. Like if something bad does happen in our community, we tend to handle it in a more mature and positive way. And I really do appreciate that about our community because it has ruined so many other places on the internet for me. I'm a big video gamer. I love playing online games, but I find it really hard to play online games like Overwatch and League of Legends because the community has become so toxic. And I really like that there's a place on the internet where I can still go, where everyone is nice and sane, and it's wonderful. <laughs> so thank you for that. So that's all that I have for this tag today. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. But until I see you next time, happy reading. And until then, 